Okie dokie pokey. Hokey dokey pokey. <laughs> All right, this is the last problem of the course. Course. I know earlier you were crying because of the last unit, now it's the last problem. I can see the tears actually is streaming. I think you have enough Kleenex around in order to clean up the mess you're making right now. Nope, 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 nope. But hey, you know what? Get over it, people. Get over it. Here we go. I've drawn out the last problem. Problem number seven. This is Marge and this is Frank. All right? Marge and Frank. I know what you're saying. How come Marge has short hair and Frank has long hair? This is the 90s, people. Don't be all assuming and judgy, okay? It's okay. Marge can have short hair and Frank can have long hair, okay? Get with it. Catch up. Make like Heinz. Catch up, okay? <laughs> it's funny. Okay, so before they're running at each other, Marge, 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 double Marge, Marge sent ya. Pee Wee, Pee Wee's big adventure, trying to find his bike, large Marge in the truck, big guy. Watch it, it's a good movie. Marge, Frank, they collide. This is before, so we have to add their total. Momentum A, momentum B, total. Then after, equals after. You can see, oh, we, Marge lost, lost her arms. We better put those back on, so you're gonna want those. Okay. Marge is now moving, because you get the, well, the lines are moving back. So Marge is moving this way, now Marge collides and bounces off. Is this a perfectly, Inelastic collision? Is this a perfectly inelastic collision? He, no, no it is not, because they're not sticking together. They're bouncing. Oh, it's a perfectly elastic or elastic, I mean the same thing, a collision, right? Well, no, no, they wouldn't. You can see the deformation. Marge is a mess, Frank's a mess. Clearly some energy went into that, and there's gonna be sound, so no. I mean, remember, those basically don't exist, and we just assume that with some certain situations they do. This would be an inelastic collision. It's inelastic, okay, they don't stick together, so it's not perfectly inelastic, it's inelastic, and we are going to lose kinetic energy, but the momentum should be the same. Yes, momentum is conserved in all of these collisions. So momentum before equals momentum after. Okay, so we've drawn out Marge going backwards, still the same mass of Marge, hasn't lost, got those arms back on her, so she hasn't lost any mass. Moving backwards at two meters per second. Here's the question. What's the velocity of Frank and in what direction will Frank be traveling after the collision? Will Frank bounce back or will Frank go forward? Let's find out. The math will tell us which way and math never lies. Okay, so let's get the before momentums totaled. So that would be 60 times five, mass times velocity plus, so we need a total, 100 times 6. Now, hopefully some of you are saying to yourself, wait, 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 what about direction? One's going the opposite direction. Hopefully you're saying that, and that is correct. We have to give somebody a negative. It doesn't matter who we give a negative. Typically, I like giving negatives, going and going to, to the left. So you are going to get a negative in my book. It doesn't matter. We can give the negative here. We will still get us the same answer. So plus negative is going to be a negative going in the opposite direction. Okay, um, so over here, after, so let's write out the moment. Now I have the momentum of Marge after, if I multiply these, that's 60 times two. However, I gotta be careful of this. Earlier, I said, just a second ago, I said that Frank was moving to the left and we gave Frank a negative. Marge, after the collision, has bounced backwards and is now moving to the left so I have to give Marge a negative after the collision. So you gotta be careful. We said left was negative. Marge is moving left after, so I give Marge a negative. Okay, Frank. What's happening to Frank? Now what we do know is Frank is still 100 kilograms. We just don't know the velocity of Frank. So we're gonna solve for that velocity and see what we get. Okay, let's do the math. This is uh, 300 plus negative 600 equals negative 120. Negative 120. All right, so that is 300. Uh, plus uh, negative, that's negative 300, right? Negative 300 is equal to negative 120 uh, plus, now, the Frank 
is 100 times v. So let's make that 100 v, or make that an x. I'm going to make that a 100 x, like that. So let's go ahead and add 120 to both sides. Okay, so that goes away. So this is negative 300 plus 120. So that's going to be negative 180. Okay, so this is negative 180. I'm running out of room here. Um, so I am going to go back up here. So this is negative 180 is equal to, we got rid of this, 100x. Okay. All right, we just solve for x now. I'll get rid of this now. Hopefully, you, if you haven't wrote it down yet, write it down. Okay. All right, do it, do it, do it. If not, you can always rewind. Okay, get rid of this. Get out of the way. So x is equal to negative. Don't forget that's a negative. That's important because we have to know the direction of uh, Frank afterwards. I want to know his direction, not just his velocity. So we know the velocity is negative 1.8 meters per second. So in other words, the velocity's value is 1.8 meters per second. Negative. What does that mean? That means Frank is moving to the left even after the collision. So Frank, and here's Marge, Frank has more momentum. If you look at the first number, that's 600, that's 300. Frank had twice the momentum that, that uh, Marge had. So Frank is like a tractor trailer truck and Marge is like a little Volkswagen here. What happens? Tractor trailer truck wins, okay? It's gonna be, you know that, it's gonna be a boom. That's what happens here, it's a boom. Now, does Frank slow down? Yes, lost some energy, but still goes in the same direction. When a tractor trailer truck and a Volkswagen collide, the tractor trailer truck doesn't go backwards. That's crazy talk. Okay, so and, and don't try that at home either. Just just trust me on that. Don't don't try to experiment with a tractor trailer truck. You will lose. So we get the direction to the left, and we have the velocity value 1.8, and that people is a wrap. That's what I'm talking about. Speaking of a wrap, it sounds pretty good because it's five minutes to noon, and I am getting hungry, hungry. Okay, that's it. That wraps everything up. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.